Now, last year, the Indian Chief Batch celebrated its 100th anniversary. That's right, this batch, 100 years old. And now what happens when you let an idea evolve over a whole century? You get a beautifully evolved motorcycle that has one foot set in the past with its legacy and its stories and one foot in the current changing times. And to celebrate that very legacy, Indian has promised that it's going to be doing something very big and very different for the model year 2022, which is exactly what we are going to do today. So, ladies and gentlemen, there is a new sheriff. I mean, there is a new chief in town. Now, Indian Motorcycle abbreviates their new approach with the Chief Range as SPT, which stands for Style, Performance and Technology. And later in this video, we will tell you why that order matters so much. Now, just take a long look at this motorcycle and it's really going to take long because of its sheer size. And the size is not just the only thing that sets it apart because you need to look at this mean matte black paint scheme that comes with the Dark Horse models. Really looks like something that Batman would go for if he was not in such a hurry. Now the ethos of the design is minimalistic with great attention to details. Unlike what you would expect from a brawny 1890cc motorcycle, the Chief Dark Horse is actually quite slim. Now just because a beast might let you pet it doesn't mean it stopped being a beast itself. So there are a few defining characters that make it that mean hot rod like the long wheelbase, fat 19-inch front and 16-inch rear tires, the bobbed fender and a low-slung twin barrel exhaust. In terms of features, the motorcycle comes with three riding modes that include touring, standard and sport. The instrument panel comes with Apple CarPlay and independent navigation as well. Now the Chief gets the typical hot rod styling which means once you get astride the motorcycle you get a low seat, fairly front set foot pegs and a wide handlebar. Now for reference I am 5 foot 7 and for shorter commutes the bike felt fairly comfortable but if we are talking about long rides I think it's gonna cause a little bit of back pain. In the city, that too in a city like Mumbai, the motorcycle made as much sense as a fork in a bowl of soup. A 50-something kilometer city commute on the motorcycle proved to be a tough one when the wide handlebar and the low seat actually forced me to muscle the bike around quite a lot. But the same handlebar and the low seat proved to be a boon on highways as I realized why the highway is touted as its perfect habitat. The sheer presence, even when it's flying past you with a rumbling 116 engine, is something that many would actually bet their money on. This brings us to its heart, the 116 V-twin engine. Now an 1890cc motorcycle on paper can prove to be quite intimidating, but the chief managed to overturn that fear in a rather exciting way. The engine is all about torque that is on tap from as low as 3200 rpm. Overtakes are exciting and the bike manages to do speeds of just 60 km per hour in 5th gear. Unlike the raw mechanical engine that you would otherwise expect from a motorcycle like this, the chief's engine major selling point would be its refinement. The 6-speed gearbox took some effort to operate at first, but we realized that this is something that you can get used to. Now, while the engine seemed to be of a very friendly nature with no unpleasant surprises, we found that the clutch to be a bit heavy and snatchy. So, a little extra attention while you make that tight U-turn would be nice. The engine also comes with cylinder deactivation technology, which means that it automatically shuts off one cylinder when the bike is standing still. A good way to achieve good fuel efficiency. Now remember the SPT approach that we mentioned earlier? Indian has paid a lot of attention in the style department, which is also one of the reasons why they skipped a liquid-cooled engine considering that the radiator wouldn't fit into the design formula well. Now speaking of the cycle parts, Chief Dark Horse gets traditional telescopic forks up front and twin shocks at the rear. The setup is surprisingly plush and fits like a glove for Indian riding conditions. The motorcycle is quite confident at corners, but any bumps or potholes while at it makes the bike a little unstable. The brakes, however, is where we thought the Chief showed some room for improvement. For a motorcycle of this size and weight, the brakes felt underpowered with not enough bite or feedback. Now, 
Now, when I got my hands on the Indian Chief Dark Horse, the one thing that I was eager to find was how well does it fit in India? And for that, I should say quite well, if not perfectly. Now, this motorcycle is actually adored and loved by people who want that mean villain vibe that turns heads at every signal you stop at. And for that, this one does the job pretty well. It also needs to be addressed that there is another American motorcycle manufacturer that enjoys a major chunk in the heavyweight cruiser segment. And in regards with that, the only thing I can say is that this one seems like a safer bet.